I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Compassion, where it comes from and what it is, that's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, short, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Don't you want to know when a new video comes out? Get the app, Apple TV, iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. Donate right there. Your tax-deductible gift, short, keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. If you think that young people need the gospel, give today. All right, compassion. Uh, this Sunday's gospel has a great line. Um, be compassionate just as your father who is in heaven is compassionate. If we can get that word right there, whoops. Compassionate, merciful. That's what that word means. Compassion, mercy, is the opposite of judgment and condemnation. See, we think that compassion is this feeling that we get that we are kind to someone else, or we are merciful to someone else, or we do good things to someone else. But first and foremost, compassion's best and primary biblical meaning is not judgment. Listen, listen, listen to what he says. Be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful. What does that mean? Judge not lest you be judged. Condemn not, you won't be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. So to be compassionate for someone else means to set aside judgment and leave it to God to be the judge. To set aside condemnation, leave it to God to be the con condemner. Set, set aside holding grudges and to forgive because you've been forgiven. God judges his son, so he doesn't have to judge you and me. God shows mercy by condemning his son to the cross and death and hell. In there. In there, buddy. Jump in there. And in so doing, he shows us what it means to be compassionate. It means to be slow to anger. It means to abound in, in love for others. It means to not harbor anger forever. If merciful and compassion are, are characteristics of our Father in heaven, then we should be merciful and kind and compassionate to others because we have received compassion, mercy, and forgiveness. We give that forgiveness on. Um, that The antithesis of this is to be judgmental, to go around like a blind guide. Um, look, if you, um, why not? If you came to your doctor's appointment and your doc was wearing shades like me, if he was doing that and, and he came out with some tweezers and he wanted to do some surgery on you with your sunglasses on, with his sunglasses on, you would be like, get the sunglasses off, dude, before you work on anything which involves me. The same is true with God. And us, God says that when we execute judgment on others, we are people who have, have um, a blindness trying to do eye surgery on other blind people. They have a speck, we have a log. Um, so compassion and mercy starts with God, setting aside judgment, setting aside condemnation, judging and condemning his son in order to save us. And if we've been saved, we have no reason to do eye surgery on those around us. We can be merciful. We can be kind. We can love. It starts with God, from God to you, and then ends in the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross, delivered to us in his gifts. I'm Pastor George Borkart. He's down there, but you can't see him. And this has been another Higher Things video short.